this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. For those that follow my channel, you will have noticed a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on a camp tour of a ski lodge where I used the vault tech ladders to make roofs, creating an A-frame house. Um, it was something that I based on an image I saw on Twitter and I worked out how to do it on my own but today I am going to show you how to do it. I am back at Newgad. Um, I build here quite a lot because it's a nice flat area that's quite open. This house is very similar to my ski lodge. Instead of using the barn set and the glass panels, I have used the log cabin set. There are a couple of minor differences. I have lifted these roofs up they are flat these green roofs they are flat on my ski lodge it does create this wing effect on the side you may or may not like it you just basically put a flat roof on and then because these green roofs you can change them in situ I mean you could do it with the black roofs as well you can actually just change the positioning of them when they're in and they will go through the ladders. I put my Christmas tree up again. This one I actually put it on the ground, flame trapped it, put a foundation over it so you don't have to look at the horrible metal bucket. <laughs> I'll give you a quick tour. It's kind of a combination between my ski lodge and my um, nature lover's cabin in some respects. I have built one of these fireplaces that goes through the wall. I am not going to show you how to do this because I did a tutorial on the um, Nature Lovers Cabin video. I do put timestamps in all my videos um, when I'm building. So if you want to see how to make this, go check that video out. I have hidden power generating generators um, there is one in here, you can possibly see the feet underneath. So there are no wires. Same here, there is a generator with a power conduit wired up and then merged into this dresser. We would call that a chest of drawers in the UK. <laughs> and if people are wondering why I use a lot of Americanisms or give alternatives, it's because I think about 95% of the people that look at my videos are actually from the US. I thought I'd take make use of the screen here rather than put a wall up. Makes it a bit more open plan. I use these death claw eggs to stop you falling off the top of the stairs. <laughs> I have all my workbenches here down the side and of course my hot tub out the back. This style of building is created by manually offsetting floors. There are three offsets in this. This is the fireplace from the outside. And again, so you have these two foundations that are offset. The centre two foundations are also offset because you need to be able to line that up so that you can get the upstairs in. 
with the dormers. Now, obviously, this is built on a base of six tiles. You could make it bigger. You would have to use eight tiles, I guess. And then you could put three ladders up. I haven't actually tried it. I've seen it. I think Daka the Wanderer has done one. I like small camps and I like to decorate and I kind of feel with a building that size that you obviously it would take up a lot more resources but feel free to experiment. You could also just sort of do a section of A-frame or half an A-frame or maybe just one and a half. <laughs> so the sky's the limit. I mean, you can, in theory, snap these ladders onto an upper floor, but be aware, obviously, that that won't work if you want to put a dormer in, because they will be offset for that. And I know, I'm hoping this makes sense. I will show you how to do it, and I would suggest that you practice a couple of times to make sure, because all it takes is practice, really. So, and it does help if you have a floor tile that has a grid pattern on it. So, let's get started. Okay, let's start with this. I have placed a foundation down here by the road to line it up. I am going to go two back. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough space to get three foundations in there if I need, which I do. We start with the foundation and then we add one of these staircases. Stairs, as you know, snap to the middle of foundations. We're going to need to move that foundation, so to save the position of this ladder, I'm creating this ladder floor, ladder foundation setup. Because what we're going to do is we are going to move this foundation quarter of a tile to the right. Now I have done this previously with patterned floors but I have realized that this floor would work just as well and everyone has this floor. Select your foundation and pull it towards you making sure that you keep the up and down and the left and right position. Now, when you place your staircase, you can see that the staircase on the foundation, it looks like it's at the bottom left. I do think actually it could come slightly further this way. There is a slight overlap with the stairs because of the um, edges stick out a bit, so that's probably fine. You will notice that it will not allow me to put that there, but what we can do to check the positioning is put another floor here, take this floor off, foundation off, put the stairs back. and the foundation should snap in underneath. 
So at the moment, this ladder is not attached to this foundation. It's not snapped to it. It's snapped to this up here. So we're going to take this foundation and we're going to snap it behind the ladder. So this is a key point and we are going to put another foundation next to it to save that key point. We don't want to lose that. Gonna put that one back because this is our starting point again this one here we are going to be moving this foundation again the ladder will be in the way this will be in the way but we've saved our key point here it's a good point here actually to check that these floors are lined up and it actually looks like this floor could go a little to the right so we will do that Right, we are now going to take this one off. We are going to take our original foundation again and we are going to pull it towards us again by a quarter. I am using this line here on the word to gauge it. We will put this one back. Now We should be able to put snap a ladder to this foundation here and a ladder to the foundation behind. And now you have two ladders that look like they're next to each other. Well, they are next to each other, but but this one is snapped to this this foundation. It is in the middle of that foundation. And the one at the front is snapped to here. What you may or may not have realized is now you've got those snapping points. You have pretty much done all the hard work on that. Because the ladders will now snap as you go down. We need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two of these will have upper ladders on. The four in the middle will be where the dormer is. And again, these two will have. It's important to know which floors are which. So I am going to change the colours up. The other advantage of doing it this way rather than using the square tile pattern is that you can see which direction the floors are going in because once they're placed down you cannot change the direction. You can change this back afterwards when you finish your build. It's very easy. The house itself is two tiles wide. This area here under the ladders is blank space. It's difficult to put anything under here because things do not like going under ladders.
This again will be an area under a ladder. Can't see which way the pattern's going. Because of the way I've done this, these black ones are actually in the same position as these ones, so this position for the ladder will be the same over here. To get the outer one, all I do is just leapfrog these foundations over. keep that position. It means that you don't have to um, try and realign it. slightly out on this side which probably means there's a slight overlap on this side easy to just realign it. I will show you just to confirm that these do in fact line up. We now need to get these foundations flush with this ladder so that we can fit in an upstairs and the dormer. So we need to push this in by a quarter. The easiest way to do that is to build out like that, take that one off and just move this in by a quarter, trying to keep it straight. be our porch. Oop, that one's the wrong way around. To check that this has worked, I am going to put a ladder down, staircase. found that because obviously this is all manually moved that sometimes the ladders interfere you should be able to get them bound back on afterwards well 
We'll see if I can. <laughs> I am going to put... an upstairs on. It's only three tiles. And I am going to put the walls on. You can obviously put a doorway in here if you want a separate bathroom or whatever you want really. And we are also going to put the walls on the house. If you were going to put a fireplace on here, now would be the time to do it. Making sure that your barn walls are in the right position not barn walls, log cabin walls because they have this weird, weird habit of misaligning. We will need another window here above this staircase and we will need a wall up here. The easiest way to do this is just move the staircase if you can. Sometimes these will allow you to place them through floors but not today. Did it earlier? We will try this. Nope. You don't necessarily have to put um, a piece of floor in there. If you put a doorway down, make sure the doorway is in the back position so that it's as close to rather than this one. This is forwards, this is backwards because you want it to line up with this one here. Nope. Because that's a doorway you can take it off. Now hopefully we can get the stairs back on. And convert these to walls. We will convert this one back to the metal staircase and we will put our doorway back in. Neither of the builds I've done like this are have been double walled. You could in theory double wall it. This works sometimes and not others. You can use the door trick, because these floors are offset, you can use the door trick to um, double wall it. Um, if the door will go in either direction and it's green, it means you can double wall it. But for this build, I like the log cabin set, so... If you don't know how to do a double wall using a door, I covered that in my How to Build the Kitchen Garden House video. 
The only other alternative would be to lift all those these foundations and snap foundations to the same as these to create a double wall. It's easier in an instance like this to use the door trick. For roofs, I used the green roofs. I did start with putting roofs on like this. I wasn't sure about it, so I actually converted them to flat walls, uh, flat roofs. Obviously, you would need a triangle of the log cabin in the top there. Oh, I might leave it for this. <laughs> I am going to put the ladders back on, they will go in, otherwise this video will be in the bin. I'm going to put the roofs on down here. I'm going to put them on... ...pointing upwards, because... Although the ladders won't go through them. Okay. Right, it might be these ladders. Do you not know? You can take all of the ladders off as long as you have the floor tiles in the right place, it doesn't matter. Still will not go on. There we go. Right. I will be converting these to flat roofs now. The reason I didn't put them on as flat roofs is I wanted to make sure that when I converted them they were at the right angle and you've got a 1 in 4 or a 1 in 50% chance if you obviously put them on this way with the lines this way so for example this one has a 50% chance of oh it is in the right place <laughs> I've got the same problem over here because you're manually moving stuff every time you build one of these it will be different there will be different problems, there will be different things that do not fit and you might have to readjust. Obviously building it in a hurry for a video, probably not the best thing. If you want to put the tree in It goes here. Let's put the tree on the ground here. Get your trusty flamer trap out. Foundations, ladders, and upper floors cannot be flamer trapped. And apparently, I'm missing. going to add in a couple more foundations here that one here making sure it is the right way round 
Actually, I'm going to leave that until I've put the ladders on. Make sure you've got the wide ladder. Two of these cover one tile. The narrow... The narrower ladders, it takes three to cover one tile. So you are using more resources to get the same effect. are on. We now need to flip these into the upwards position. these basic wooden fences on the front here and some stairs I think the last thing I need to add is the door. I used this door. And you could obviously change these floors. To match the rest. Once you get the neck, it's just practice. I. This is the second video I've done. I wasn't happy with the first video. <laughs> so I have built this three times now. So yeah, I think it's pretty straightforward. It just takes practice. If you have any questions, any queries, anything you want to say, please post below. I hope you like it. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.